Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create position only parameters. So right now we are passing these arguments by name and this works, it's doing great for our purpose. However, for some reason out there, you might want to prevent passing data by name. And in this situation you have to pass it by position. So you couldn't swap the position, you notice how be nice comes first and the name came, comes second in the arguments list. You have to do it in the correct order and you have to do it just by passing in a value such as this here. So if you want to force it to be this way, I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. And it's really simple. It's a little funky though. Just put a comma here and then put a forward slash. So running this now, it works exactly the same. However, if we try to use a named argument like so, we're going to get an error. We get an error and it says positional only arguments passed as keyword arguments and it calls it out by saying be nice here. Now you can actually just make some of your parameters position only. So if you wanted to make a name by position only, you would put a comma after name and then a forward slash and then a comma for the next parameter there. So this is the syntax to do that. And running this now, it no longer gives us an error and it runs just fine. We can't pass this here by name but we can pass this here by name. So anything before the slash is position only, anything after is by name or position. So we can still do it by position just by passing in true here. Running that and that works just fine. So that is how you create position only parameters. Check out the next video because we're gonna be talking about keyword only parameters, which is passing them by name to a specific parameter here, such as be nice. So I'm gonna be showing you how to restrict it to just that.